Hey everybody, welcome to Priddle Mondays. Let me make sure we're getting everything going on right here. Yep, yep, yep. Welcome to Priddle Monday, the place where, the place where the puzzles are real and the cookies don't matter. What are Priddle Mondays? Priddle Mondays, we worked on different puzzles and riddles in order to get better at armchair treasure hunts. Armchair treasure hunts uh, is one one of the things I like to do on the side, and I found that there are some things I'm not very good at. And one of them was trying to think laterally, trying to think outside the box. One of the ways we can get better at that is to work on puzzles and riddles. So what we do here is we work on them together, and we collectively get better at these different puzzles and riddles, which would therefore help us get better at armchair treasure hunts. Uh, it also helps our vocabulary. Our vocabulary is something we need to work on, too. Laughing my kitchen sink off, says Tony Russo. <laughs> so here, uh, puzzles and riddles, we work on them together. Uh, you guess in the chat, and we collectively try to figure them out. Uh, today, I would like to do a variety of riddles. Uh, then we're going to do words on stream, and then we're going to go back and finish up with some riddles at the end. And if you can see... Uh, you should be able to see on the screen there. Yep. We've got our first riddle of the day. Uh, I saw this one online, so I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, last night, Andy was decorating an unusual birthday cake. His ingredients were three sheets of marzipan, six juniper berries, five tablespoons of mayonnaise, and four of what sort of fruit? The bubbles are plentiful and the water is stagnant. An elevated, what am I? Oh, William's got a riddle too. Bubbles are plentiful and the water is stagnant. And elevated. I'm guessing it's al alcohol, champagne. I'm going to guess. Uh, the answer is not pears. The answer is not cranberries. But I'm looking at William's, I'm looking at William's riddle. The bubbles are plentiful. The water is stagnant. It's a bath, he says. <laughs> All right, William. Welcome, William. Welcome, Lori James, Alan Kay, Evan Penn, Tony Rusi. All right, I'll read the riddle again. Last night, Andy was decorating an unusual birthday cake. His ingredients were three sheets of marzipan, six juniper berries, five tablespoons of mayonnaise, and four of what sort of fruit? Something starting with a D. That is incorrect, Peace Seeker. It does not start with the letter D. And it is not pears and it's not cranberries. It's a very unusual birthday cake. Evan Penn got it. It's apricots. Apricots. So three sheets of marzipan. Marzipan starts to look like March. Six juniper berries. Juniper is similar to June, which is the sixth month. Five tablespoons of mayonnaise, like the month of May. And... Four of what sort of fruit? So you're looking at the four, fourth month, which is April. What sort of fruit is similar to April? To April? Answer is apricots. 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 Last night, Andy was decorating an unusual birthday cake. His ingredients were three sheets of marzipan, six juniper berries, five tablespoons of mayonnaise, and four of what sort of fruit? So you're taking the numbers, they match up with the months. The months, you can see marzipan, Mars, six, juniper, five, the month of May, and four is April. Tricky, tricky but I like, yeah, I agree. That was why I like that one too. The answer was apricots or apricots, depending on how you pronounce it. Hey, K-Pro is here. Lori, William, it's a party in here. <laughs> K-Pro says she's glad she missed that one. All right, our next... Riddle, what must, what must you first give to me in order to keep it? I, I think these are generally a little bit easier. Oh, Evan Penn's waiting for a cookie. You got it. Cookie for Evan Penn. Man, I, for some reason, it's like the my big thing, and I, I forget it right in the beginning. It's been a nightmare the last five days. Oh, my goodness. I see trust, love, secret...
All right, I'm going to give it to you, K-Pro. The answer is your word. The answer is your word. But you had trust, and trust is very similar. I'll give it to you. Cookie for K-Pro. That's very similar. <laughs> your word is the answer. All right, though I'm tender... I'm not to be eaten, nor though mint fresh, your breath to sweeten. Alrighty. Looks good there. Looks good there. K Pro's dancing all around. All right. Continue to dance, K Pro. Dance away. Though I'm tender, I'm not to be eaten, nor though mint fresh, your breath to sweeten. Though I'm tender, I'm not to be eaten, nor though mint fresh, your breath to sweeten. Uh, the answer is not toothpaste. Answer is not toothpaste. So these particular riddles I'm taking from a website where they put the question and the answer right next to each other. So I had to sort of jerry rig them. So I'm not able to participate in these. The uh, answer is not gum. Answer is not gum, but I can see where you're getting the, it's tender, not to be eaten. Lori James got it. Paper money. Money, legal tender, uh, minted, minted coins, minted coins. Answer is legal tender, money, minted coins. Though I'm tender, I'm not to be eaten. Nor, though mint fresh, your breath to sweeten. The answer is legal tender, money, or minted coins. Either one of those. Cookie for Lori James. Cookie for Lori James. You never see it, but it's almost always there, and most people quickly notice when it's absent. You never see it, but it's almost always there, and most people quickly notice when it's absent. <laughs> Enjoy your cookie. Evan Penn got oxygen. Oxygen. Oxygen slash breathable air. You never see it, but it's almost always there, and most people quickly notice when it's absent. The answer is oxygen or breathable air cookie for Evan Penn moving right along blessed are the first slow are the second playful are the third bold are the fourth and brave are the fifth <laughs> cookies matter hashtag cookies matters escape pro <laughs> cookies matter <laughs> blessed are the first slow are the second playful are the third bold are the fourth brave are the fifth capro got it answer is blade cookie for capro before i forget do that first. Yes, the answer is B L A D E. Blessed are the first. The first word, first letter of the of the word is B. Slow are the second. There's the L in blade. Playful are the third. The third letter is A. Bold are the fourth. The fourth letter is D. The D in blade. And brave are the fifth. E. The fifth letter is blade. The fifth letter is E, which then all spells out blade. Good job, Capro. Peace Seeker got it too. Williams, <laughs> explaining, please. You got it. Uh, blessed are the first. The first letter of the word. The second of the next sentence is the second letter. Third letter of the next word. Bold are the fourth. The fourth letter is D. Fifth letter in brave is E. So it's B L B L A D and E. 
just go fast and guess. <laughs> there's no negative cookies. No negative cookies in Purtle Monday, K Pro. So there's no harm in guessing fast. All right, we will move on to the next riddle. Brought to the table, cut and served, never eaten. Brought to the table, cut and served, never eaten. <laughs> K-Pro is showing off her cookies matter. Emoji cookies. <laughs> answer is not turkey. Turkey is not the answer. <laughs> Sassy's texting her the answers. <laughs> hey, everybody would like to have Sassy text me the answers. <laughs> uh, okay, again, brought to the table, cut and served, never eaten. The answer is not a subpoena. And I will say, her state after the divorce. Oh, okay, we're, I don't want to check it's trying to make fun of something. But K Pro, of all the people, that might be in this chat. Something tells me you should be getting this one. <laughs> Answer is not hair. K Pro. No, it's not a cow. Come on, K Pro. Uh, what else do you do at a table other than eat and drink? Cards. Cards. Alan Kay got it. <laughs> Cards. Poker. Yes. Brought to the table. Cut and served. Never eaten. The answer was playing cards. Playing cards. Dun, dun, dun. Cookie for Alan Kay. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Brought to the table. Cut and served. Never eaten. You cut, you cut a deck of cards, you serve the cards, you never eat them. Playing cards, playing cards is that one. It is a journey whose path depends on another's vision of where it ends. <laughs> Do you look at the bottom of the back? Yeah, it's all right, Al. Okay, we, everybody gets excited and they, get, they type really fit, fast. Everybody does that. Served is not a proper... I just went through dealing school. Really? You learn how to deal. That's interesting. Cut and served. I can see where, he, where he's saying it. It is a journey whose path depends on an other's vision of where it ends. I like the ones that rhyme. <laughs> Alan K screenshotted it. It is a journey whose path depends on an other's vision of where it ends. It's not diapers, no. <laughs> it is a journey whose path depends on an other's vision of where it ends. No, it's not eye lasers. No, it's they're not sharks with freaking laser beams attached to them. It's, it's not staring. <laughs> it is a journey whose path depends on an other's vision of where it ends. It's not a passenger. A fen treasure hunt? Hmm. It is a journey whose path depends on another vision of where it ends. All right, I see where you're going, Lori. <laughs> it is a journey whose path depends on another's vision of where it ends. <laughs> the Forrest Fen poem. <laughs> You guys are thinking of warm waters halt in your dreams, probably. Oh, it's all good, Peace Seeker. Don't worry. Schrodinger's cat. No, it is not a rainbow. Uh, don't worry, Peace Seeker. Evan Penn got it. It's a novel. It's a book. The answer is a book. It is a journey whose path depends on... On and others' vision of where it ends. Cookie for Evan Penn. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you see that peace seeker? K Pro is going to get sassy to text you the answers. That one was lame. Aw, it's a metaphor. Journey whose path depends on another's vision and where it ends. <laughs> uh, men seize it from its home, tear apart its flesh, drink the sweet blood, then cast its skin aside. It's a very dirty metaphor. He chose poorly. <laughs> now we're quoting from uh, from uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I love it. It's so lame it halted. Answer is not an apple. Answer is an orange. Answer is an orange. Men seize it from its home, tear apart its flesh, drink the sweet blood, then cast its skin aside. The answer is an orange. Looks like Peace Seeker has got those hints from Sassy. <laughs> Cookie for Peace Seeker. Or you, you got the vision of Sassy and you were able to think of it. You thought laterally, you thought outside the box, and you got the answer. That's awesome. We're all about having fun here. Next riddle. Names give power, magic to control. But what is broken by naming it? <laughs> Channeling sassy spirit. There we go. Names give power, magic to control. But what is broken by naming it? Uh, it's not Spell. It's not Voldemort. Miss Lisa. Woo! Miss Lisa coming out of nowhere. A secret. I'm going to give it to you. Answer is silence. Answer is silence. Secret is very close. Secret, silence. I'll give it to you. Next one. Names give power, magic and control, but what is broken by naming it silence? Today he is there to trip you up, and he will torture you tomorrow. Yet he is also there to ease the pain when you are lost in grief and sorrow. I'll say the riddle again. Today he is there to trip you up, and he will torture you tomorrow. Yet he is also there to ease the pain when you are lost in grief and sorrow. Memory. It's not memory. It's not forced friend after boots on the ground. Forgiveness, love. No, no, no. I will say, well, no, I don't I don't want to keep picking on K-Pro. I won't pick on K-Pro this time. Today he is there to trip you up. And he will torture you tomorrow. Yet he is also there to ease the pain when you are lost in grief and sorrow. K Pro says, pick on me. Okay. Um, it's not gambling, no. Uh, it's not cows, it's not unconsciousness. Let's see. Let's just say, I'll say cow mug. How about that? Cow mug. It's not dreams. Your hint is a cow mug. Today he is there to trip you up and he will torture you tomorrow. Yet he is also there to ease the pain when you are lost in grief and sorrow. It's not forgetfulness. It's not riddles. It's not tomorrow. It's not nipples, no. <laughs> Alcohol. Alcohol got all oh, right before Peace Seeker got it. Yes, the answer is, let me make sure I put the co cookie before I forget. <laughs> Which mug? <laughs> uh, the answer is alcohol. Today he is there to trip you up. And he will torture you tomorrow. Yet he is also there to ease the pain when you are lost in grief and sorrow. <laughs> oh, there's never alcohol in the mug? Oh, okay. 
My mistake. Uh, my mistake. <laughs> Thanks, Lori James. Thanks for coming by, Lori James. We appreciate you showing up. Answer is alcohol. Today is there to trip you up, torture you tomorrow. It is also there to ease the pain when you're lost in grief and sorrow. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> you know, screw. Oh, all right, all right. I see. I have no tears, but I perspire. I stretch, but cannot respire. I can jump, walk, run, and dance, though I have no mind. I'll take a stance. What am I? <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> Answer is not a tongue. No, it is not tongue. I have no tears, but I perspire. I stretch, but I cannot respire. I can jump, walk, run, and dance, though I have no mind. I'll take a stance. What am I? All right, I'm giving it to... Oh, Lori's back. I'll give it to you, Lori James. The answer is a leg. The answer is a leg. I'll give it to... Feet is pretty close. Feet is pretty close. The answer is a leg. I have no tears, but I perspire. I stretch, but cannot respire. I jump, walk, run, and dance, though I have no mind. I'll take a stance. What am I? answer is a leg. A leg. I can bring next next riddle. I gave Lord James. Yeah, I can bring down the mightiest of men. Nobody can defy me. I am the enemy of flight. Yet you can't even sense my presence. What am I? What am I? Not important. Welcome. Alan Kay got it. Gravity. The answer is gravity. Gravity. I can bring down the mightiest of men. Nobody can defy me. I am the enemy of flight, yet you can't even sense my presence. What am I? Answer is gravity. Cookie for Alan K. Cookie for Alan K. There we go. Next riddle. I think I've got a few more here on this. The more you walk on me, the more we get along and while others may still use me with you is where i belong what am i okay pro needs one more she says the more you walk on me the more we get along and while others may still use me with you is where i belong da, 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 da. All right, I think not important, got it. The answer is shoes. Answer is shoes. I can see not important. Okay, not important, got it. The more you walk on me, the more we get along. And while others may still use me, with you is where I belong. What am I? The answer is shoes. Cookie for not important. Cookie for... Not important. Answer is shoes. All right, last one of these. Let me make sure you can see that. Yep. Boom, boom. I guard precious treasures, and yet my body never moves. But I open like a book when something of yours is used. When finally I'm gutted, always feel quite blue. I always... Feel so useless without the gold that I consume. What am I? <laughs> Capro got it. It's a treasure chest. Answer is a treasure chest. <laughs> Capro got it. I guard precious treasures and yet my body never moves. But I open like a book when something of yours is used. When finally I'm gutted, always feel quite blue. I always feel so useless without the gold I consumed. Without... What am I? Answer was a treasure chest. Cookie for K-Pro. K-Pro. <laughs> Hat trick. Got it right. All right. Thanks for stopping by, K-Pro. And have a good show tonight. All right. We are next going to do some words on stream. Uh, words on stream. This has got to go over there. Here we go. 
Uh, we, it's similar to Boggle, where we're going to have a group of letters, and then we're going to have to come up with as many words as we can using those letters. This is where we help work our, our vocabulary. We'll see some, sometimes we'll see some words that we don't see very often, similar to like a crossword puzzle, where you've got sort of these bizarre words. All words will be at least four letters long, four letters long. If you come up with a word, put it in the chat, and if you're the first one to get it, there's a little bit of a delay, but if you're the first one to get it, it will go and it will show up in the list that you got that word. Uh, all of the words with the same number of letters, they'll be alphabetical order, but they'll be different lengths of letters. Uh, different words will have different lengths and you'll see how it goes. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. This is a fun little word game. So you come up with a word that's at least four letters long, put it in the chat. Let's have some fun. And I will be participating also. Hmm. I see meat and mean. Oh, manatee. Manatee. I think there's team with a T E E M. So we're looking for a number of four letter words. We got five letter words and one more seven letter word. Come up with a guess and put it in the chat. They will at least have four letters long. Hmm. M E E T. Meant, there's a good word. Eaten is also a good word, Evan Penn. Let's see. Manta. Oh, like manta ray. Okay. Mm. M E. Trying to figure out if that's an N word or an M word in the four letters. I have no idea what the other seven letter word is. You guys are going for it. Matinee, almost Jimmy Fast. We don't have any eyes though. M-E-T-E -E is one. All right, that was our first level. We get to skip three levels. Uh, let's see. I got seven words. Evan Penn got three. P Seeker got three. Tony Russi got two. Miss Lisa got two. Alan Kay got two words. And Lori James got one. Yeah, they don't show the misses. I agree, Alan Kay. He's like, well, we're, we like to learn, and we're not able to see the, the words that we don't get. I agree. It's That's kind of a bummer. But... Um, I've been playing, I've been watching some other streamers on Twitch. They play this game. Some of them play this game. And I've, I think Manatee is, I kind of recognize because it was a word that I'd seen before. But when other people, at least when other people get words that you might not recognize, that's sort of the best that you can do. Uh, what we're going to do for these words on stream, we're going to go as far as we can. The The puzzles get harder the further we go. But we're going to see as how far we can go in this little game. Exclamation mark. And I can't type con-tin. I could always just click the button, but I like the exclamation mark. Continue. All right, let's see how we do here. Hmm. I see time. Knit. Yeah, meat. Team. I see emit. Imitate. Oh, good job, Evan Penn. Getting that seven letter word. Imitate. I see teat.
All right, somebody had this in the last one. It was meta. Hmm. Only one word left, and it's an M word, a four-letter M word. Oh, Evan Penn got it. Matt. Matt. All right. We're going to take a little break. I'm going to look up the word. Matt Def Initial. M A T T I S verb adjective noun matrix known uses a matte finish oh that's M A T T E though isn't it Merriam Webster no not Urban Dictionary oh noun a dull A male given name. Yeah, the the dull surface is M A T T E. I'm not sure. Other than it's, the... hmm, I don't know. Oh, it's a, it's both are accepted. Maybe it's like a British or an old English kind of term. I don't know. Yeah, Matt finishes M A T T E. I'm not sure. Unless they accept proper names in this game. I don't think they do. Uh, okay, I I got five. Peace Seeker got five words. Evan Penn got three. Lori James got one. Tony Rusi got one. So right now, I've got I got 12 words. Peace Seeker got eight. Evan Penn got six. Tony Rusi got three. Miss Lisa got two. Alan Kay got two. And Lori James got two. We will move on to the next level. We skipped three levels. We're to level seven next. Hmm. Oops. Got to spell it correctly. Oh, okay. Ah, Evan Penn just beat me to it. <laughs> Evan Penn just beat me to it. Mollusk. Ooh, skull is a good word. Hmm. One of the things I like to do when I see an S is to get like maybe a three letter word and then put an S in the back of it. Mall is a word too. Hmm. I see sumo. Slalom. I don't think slum. Slum, there's a good word. Well, um, I don't think six letters, no. Skull, musk. So we have one four letter S word. S O U M. Oh, can I put any of the other words, put an S on the end? Malls, malls. I just tacked an S onto the words that P. Seeker and Tony Rusi got. <laughs> All right, we skipped three levels again. Let's see. I got five words. Evan Penn got three. Miss Lisa got two. Tony Rusi got one word. Peace Seeker got one. Totals is I have 17 words. Peace Seeker nine. Evan Penn nine. Tony Rusi four. Miss Lisa four. Alan Kay has two words. Amori James has two words. We will move on to the next level. Con. Tin. You. We'll go as far as we can. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I hear you, Peace Seeker. Sometimes you just go what works. Oh, here we have a fake letter. Fake letter. One cookie per word. All right, I, it goes a little too fast. P is the fake letter. Do not use the letter P. 
do not use the letter P. Uh, the, set, the letters are in kidney, K-I-D-N-E-Y. P is a fake letter. This is when we get higher up. We sometimes, sometimes we'll get these fake letters. So do not use the letter P. Hmm. All right, I'll take one for the team. Uh, let's see. Looks like we have three D words left. Three words that begin with the letter D. Is dink an actual word? Dink? It is. Okay. Dyke. There we go. One more D word. Looks like a D I. Don't know. D I N Y. You can see the four letter words are all in alphabetical order. So you can use that when you're looking for the empty words. You can have that help you out. I'm not sure what that what that word is. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's see, I got five letters. Evan Penn got two. Miss Lisa got one. Tony Russi got one. P. Seeker got one. Ryan Matthews. Welcome, Ryan Matthews. Alan K. got one. His totals, I've got 22. Evan Penn, 11. P. Seeker, 10. Tony Russi, 5. Miss Lisa, 5. Alan K., 3. Lori James, 2. Ryan Matthews has one word. We will continue to the next level. And let's see how we do. Oh my. Okay, we also have a fake letter again. Uh, let's see. Is that the word? Okay, swimming. So the J is fake. The J is fake. Do not use the letter J. Pretty easy to avoid using the letter J. But there's only two vowels, two, two I's. Sign. Hmm. Oh, Evan Pan, I was just going to do that one. Jins. Throw an S on the back of a win and you get wins. Swing. Hmm, what else? Ooh, mining. I gotta spell it right though. M I N I N G. Wow. <laughs> Accidentally hitting notes. I'm doing fast. Trying to do it fast. Did I get it right? Oh, there's only one N. That's not mining. Oh no. Oh no. There's only one end, so mining wasn't one. Oh, it's as far as we got. Level 13. Swimming. Winning. Oh, yeah. Once again, there's only one end. You did the same thing I did, Miss Lisa. Only one end. So I got seven words. Evan Penn got three. Tony Russo got one. Alan Kay got one. For a total of 29 words for me, 14 for Evan Penn, 10 for P Seeker. Six words for Tony Rusi, five words for Miss Lisa, four for Alan Kay, two for Laurie James, one for Ryan Matthews. All right, so that's the fun of words on stream. Hope you like that part. 
we're going to head back to Riddles. We're going to go to my favorite Riddle website called RiddleWatt. Uh, is that as close as we can? We can make it a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Uh, RiddleWatt is my favorite one because they're user-generated riddles. Usually, I see usually, and we, you, everybody who's been here for a little while knows that we kind of see some of the same riddles over and over again. Um, so people who have these user-generated, sometimes they're not so great. Sometimes they're usually good, but you can't just sort of internet search them and try to find them. So I think they make them a little more interesting, and they have some difficult ones here. Uh, so here's our first riddle: You must know not what I am, but I am there. You know I am surrounding you, yet you do not realize I am there until I am got one. <laughs> okay, we just we just had this. But it's four letters long. Four letters long. You must not know what I am, but I am there. You know I am surrounding you, yet you do not realize I am there until I am gone. What am I? Yeah, you think it would be air. I A I R S. Errors? No. I'll try your or aura. Aura? No, aura is not the right answer. Soul? It's not soul. And I don't know the answer to these either. You must n know not what I am, but I am there. You know I am surrounding you, yet you do not realize I am there until I am gone. What am I? Is it life? L I F E? It's not life. Aura is good. I kind of like the aura. There's something we must not be seeing, though. You must not, you must know not what I am, but I am there. You know I am surrounding you, yet you do not realize I am there until I am gone. What am I? Time, love, okay, hope. Let me do them in order. Hope. Nope. Love. Not love. Time. It's not time. You must know I am, must know not what I am, but I am there. You know I am surrounding you, yet you don't not realize I am there until I am gone. What am I? Four letter word. You must know not what I am, but I am there. It's that first sentence that's getting me. Know not what I am. So are we thinking instead of life, soul, is it like death or plague or... Evil, maybe evil, no. You must know not what I am, but I am there. You know I am surrounding you, yet you do not realize I am there until I am gone, what am I? Hate, Here, okay, so Tony Rusi's thinking, maybe I'm leading you down the wrong path though, but. Skin, okay. Skin. I'm gonna go with heat because of I'm. It's kind of a science thing. You know when it's not there. Cold. Why not cold? Sure. I'll, I'll, I'm talking to myself now. Cold. Whew. Number of incorrect guesses. 3,564 incorrect guesses. Wow. <laughs> Lots of W words. I wonder if it begins with a W. All these physical things, though. Yeah, it's metaphorical, perhaps. Can't be physical. Yeah, you could be right, Alan K. Okay. I wonder if it begins with a W. Well, why don't I get the... Okay, wisp. Wisp. Wind, okay. 
It's not wind. Light, L-I-T-E. What? W-H-A-T. No, what I am. Oh, Alan Kay's thinking. Alan Kay's thinking there's what. No, not what I am. Oh, I, I wanted that one to be there. Will, okay. It's not will. All right, I'm going to go ahead and look up uh, the, the riddle again. You must know not what I am, but I am there. You know I am surrounding you, yet you do not realize I am there until I am gone. What am I? I'm going to go ahead and look up the get some help, get the first hint. For some reason, I always refresh it, and then it lets me do it. Help. View hint. Revealing will cost coins. Yes. Okay, it's, it is a W. W-A-T-T. -T, what? The first letter is a W. The first letter is a W. You must know not what I am, but I am there. You know I am surrounding you, yet you do not realize I am there until I am gone. What am I? A word. Wit with two T's. Nope. You must know not what I am, but I am there. You know I am surrounding you. Oh, he was thinking like electricity, watts. I see where Alan Kay was going. Wit. Wi-Fi. I like it. Wi-Fi. You must know not what I am, but I am there. You know I'm surrounded. You don't realize I'm there until I am gone. What am I? Is it Wi-Fi? It's Wi-Fi. <laughs> Oh, I love that riddle. I hate that I didn't get it. Oh, that's a well-deserved emoji cookie for Alan K. Wi-Fi. <laughs> uh, nice. Sucks. <laughs> you must know not what I am, but I am there. You know I am surrounding you, yet you do not realize I am there until I'm gone. What am I? Oh, my goodness. Wi-Fi. <laughs> so millennial. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, that's a good riddle. That's a good riddle. Hide the solve. Sort by difficulty. I'm not doing that one. All right, difficult riddle. Here we go. You will avoid me at the beginning because I can ruin the end. I'll be with you often, but never a friend. It's a six-letter word. <laughs> We're talking about death and love and it's Wi-Fi. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. Okay. <laughs> hey, you, treasure hunting, Forrest Fenn. You're going down a rabbit hole. Here's a great example of, you know, we're trying to think laterally outside the box, but sometimes you go too far outside the box. You go down a rabbit hole. You know, I'm talking here because I'm trying to, you know, if, if the, the chat sort of stalls a little bit, I'm trying to like maybe come up with some ideas, but maybe I'm pushing you down, pushing you down the rabbit hole. <laughs> All right. Teaser. I You will avoid me at the beginning because I can ruin the end. I'll be with you often, but never a friend. All right. I will try these. Teaser. It's not teaser. Six letter word. Sat Satan is five letters. I'll do I'll do it plural. Satan's. Uh, Peace Seeker says answer. I will do A N. The answer is not the answer. I like the thinking though. I like the thinking. Spouse. S P O U S E. It's not spouse. <laughs> but I like Ryan Matthews thinking too. You will avoid me at the beginning because I can ruin the end. I'll be with you often, but never a friend. Hmm. Avoid me at the beginning because I can ruin the end. I like teaser. Okay, we got more guesses. Stories. 
Stores is too many letters. Story is too few. Alan K retracted. Period. Oh, I like that one, Tony Rusi. I like the thinking, period. Mm-hmm. You will avoid me at the beginning because I can ruin the end. I'll be with you often, but never a friend. I need to take a drink. Not quite Rio de los Pinos, but this is it. <laughs> a riddle what riddle is the closest I get to Rio de los Pinos. Doctor. Okay, doctor. Reaper. Nope. Death is too few letters. You will avoid me at the beginning because I can ruin the end. I'll be with you often, but never a friend. It's not like shadow or something like that, is it? Okay, good. All right, I will grab a hint. Refresh. Back to the hint. We wish to proceed. Yes. First letter is an R. Spoiler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a teaser for Alan K. It's a good. It's a good guess, Tony Rusi. But we got the first letter. The first letter is an R. You will avoid me at the beginning, because I can ruin the end. I'll be with you often, but never a friend. Is it referee? Ah, it's not quite enough letters. Too many letters, I mean. Regret, says Tony Rusi. I like it. Yes, Tony Rusi coming through. The answer is regret. You will avoid me at the beginning because I can ruin the end. I'll be with you often, but never a friend. Nice, Tony Rusi. Good riddle, good answer. I, I those are the those are my favorites. All right, I I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to do one more. Yeah, true, true. You will avoid me at the beginning because I can ruin the end. I'll be with you often, but never a friend. Mm. <laughs> like a fan boots on the ground, regrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, K Pro has always says that she she calls it the walk of shame, but I, I've I work on one of the treasure man caches, and when I when I you know I do my boots on the ground and I'm not able to find it, my brain is going. It's like okay, well where where else could it be? You know what other ideas are there? So I, I hope the the people that are working on the forest fen treasure hunt, I really hope you don't get too upset. Yes, I know you you probably spent money and time to do a boots on the ground, but I, I really hope you don't have regrets in that and that at least, you know, like Forrest Fenn says, you, you get off the texting device, you're getting out in the wilderness, enjoying the fresh air, enjoy the nice walk. Yes, okay, you didn't get the treasure, but man, I hope you had a good time at least. No shame in checking a solution. Absolutely, Miss Lisa. With the exception of do not have... A treasure hunt affects your personal life, your work life. You know, I for me, these treasure hunts is a hobby. And I, I really hope people keep it as a hobby. You know, work on it on the side. Don't let it overwhelm you. Don't let it become something where you're not doing, you know, you're, you're neglecting your family. You're neglecting your work. You know, I, this is my little plea to my, to my priddlers out there. You know, have fun with it. But... Don't let it overwhelm your life. It's the thrill of the chase. Yes, Alan Kay. The prize is bigger, so the emotions are in a bit. Okay, I, I, I can see that peace seeker, yes. It's a, whatever, multi-million dollar treasure chest. And so the highs and the lows are different than for the treasure man cash. I, I will concede. I, I, I agree with that peace seeker. So the bigger the prize, the bigger the adrenaline rush. But man, I found the proxy item for that medallion... Um, like January, it's like a year ago from this month. And man, I was, I had an adrenaline high all day. 
And it was just for one of those, one of the Jenny Kyle uh, golden color medallions. It was, and I I was really excited when I found that last year. Go out with the assumption you probably won't find it. Have fun looking. Yes, Miss Lisa. It's just fun to puzzle. Yes. You know, I let, you know it's winter time for the Forest Fen searchers. I hope you're, you know, taking the time to do the research. This should be heavy research times. Whatever research you do, whether you're looking at the, the chemical element table or you're looking at um, interviews that Forrest Fenn did, just have some fun trying to figure it out because the figuring out part is the part I like about it too. Maybe you'll get lucky, yeah. Maybe you could have everything wrong, but you're in the right place anyways. That's that's the case too. Well, that is the end of Prudel Monday. Uh, K-Pro and Calazars are coming up in a couple minutes. So we'll head over. It should be the Hint of Riches channel. Head over to the Hint of Riches. I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, that's the end of Prudel Monday. Have a good week for Monday, the best day of the week. Everybody have a good one. Lots of incredible places out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're welcome, Peace Seeker. Take it easy, everyone.